You might have heard about the richest man on earth, Elon Musk, and how he owned several successful companies through which his massive fortune of $181 billion comes. This acquisition of Twitter this 2022 has made him the biggest headliner of 2022, and his tweets never fail to keep him out of controversies. But apart from this, multi-businessmen and investors also create and invent cutting-edge technologies that change the shape of the world and the course of the prospective future. For example, one of the companies that the SpaceX owner has co-founded is Neuralink. The company was founded in 2016 and has managed to raise an amount of $373 million. Elon has remarked numerous times that the supreme objective of Neuralink is to develop an embeddable device that will allow the intelligence of human beings to directly interface and merge eventually with AI or artificial intelligence, which is deemed as a revolutionary technology and is potentially the key to a smart and more productive future. So if you want to know more about it, watch this video until the end. Here we began. As with some of their other projects by Elon Musk, Neuralink aims to increase the bar for humanity's potential. Very rare startups are as driving and ambitious as Neuralink. The company is currently working to create small machines that will integrate with the human brain to develop a seamless periphery between our minds and a unique kind of microchip augmentation. Elon has pointed out that the thoughts in the human mind move at a much faster pace than we can ever use our fingers to type or mouths to speak. So eventually, people equipped with a Neuralink device are expected to be capable of learning and communicating at the speed of their cognitive thoughts without the need to write or speak any words. Since its mind pong moment with the monkey back in 2021, Neuralink has made a lot of progress. In a broad-ranging update delivered on the 30th of November, Elon, along with several researchers, illustrated how the upgraded version of Neuralink's implantable brain chip has the potential to help blind people see. In addition to this, it can also help restore movement to those who have sustained injuries in their spinal cord. Sounds truly remarkable, doesn't it? Being one of the five companies led by Musk, this company is working on a technology to slip nearly thousands of electrodes that are thinner in comparison to a hair strand into the exterior surface of the human brain. Each of these electrodes is a small wire attached to a quarter-sized, remotely recharged battery-powered chip package implanted into a position that previously occupied a circle of the skull. This revolutionary chip is known as the N1 and can officially communicate with the world outside wirelessly. Although right now, the technology is still a little too far from the preliminary usage in the medical field and even more from Elon's absolute concept of utilizing Neuralink to work out with super-intelligent artificial intelligence, the company is, however, making substantial improvement, including being applied with the Food and Drug Administration to commence human trials which are expected to begin within only six months, which was recently announced by the company. Dan Adams, who is a researcher at the Neuralink company and is working on the endeavor of repackaging the camera information or data into a format that's compatible with the brain and channeling it immediately to the visual cortex, explained that their goal is to turn on the lights for the people who have spent a lot of years and even their whole lives living in the dark. Musk already has his hands behind creating revolutionary technologies. Tesla, an electric vehicle-making company owned by him, is sincerely transforming cars. And another one of his company, SpaceX, is revamping access to space with its reusable rockets. In some ways, Neuralink isn't more susceptible than social networking. But on the other hand, adjoining the hardware of our computers to wetware comes with several kinds of technological, regulatory, and credible challenges. Now enabling people who don't have the visual power to see is a different thing, but inserting in a digital feed directly into the brains of people who spend more time on their phones or iPads or computers than they already have should be of little help. Neuralink Tech to Help People with Quadriplegia Walk Earlier, Neuralink explained and depicted how the company's electrodes can listen to the thoughts or activities of our brains. By apprehending the brain signals from a monkey called Pager that successfully played the classic video game Pong, the company's computers comprehended how to infer motor control signals. And after a while, signals of the monkey's brain alone became capable of controlling the game. At the show and tell event by Neuralink, which was mainly organized to enroll fresh talent, the company managed to show a trick in which a cult sake was shown using its mind to interpret signals and followed them to type with the help of a virtual keyboard. The implants in the monkey's brain were charged wirelessly, with the monkey being persuaded with the help of a fruit smoothie to sit beneath a charger entrenched in a branch directly on top of their heads. But the greatest development of the day was to use those electrodes to transmit signals directly to the neurons that make up the nervous system in the brain. In one of the experiments, 
Electrodes were put in the spinal cord of pigs and were then used to regulate various movements of its leg. This technology has the potential to eventually help people who have quadriplegia to enable using their hands or even walk. Neuralink's technique encompasses not only intercepting the movements of the brain, commanding and transmitting them to the legs, but also heating the sensory signals from radicals and carrying them back to our brains. Hence, the brain understands what's happening. As we've mentioned, the company is achieving its goal of wielding its N1 chip to preclude signals from the human brain and then transmit them past the spinal cord to avoid any injury. As a result, people suffering from paralysis can walk again. Joey O'Doherty, a researcher in Neuralink working on the company's motor control technology, states that the company has a lot of work to do and challenges to overcome before they attain their final vision. Still, the aspects and facets that will assist the company in achieving them are already there, and I hope people can recognize them. Seeing Images and Typing with Your Mind In another one of the experiments, the visual data captured through a camera into the visual cortex of a monkey displaying its implied flashes was interpreted by the monkey as being in separate locations. Again, this technology is something Neuralink expects to direct a visual prosthesis for blind people. The first generation technology of the company wields approximately 1,024 electrodes, but Neuralink has depicted that the models for the next generation will wield greater than 16,000 electrodes. As we can already expect, that much detailing is supposed to dramatically enhance the picture's adherence in a person who cannot see. So, if the device is implanted in both sides of the visual cortex, it would render nearly 32,000 points of light to create an image for someone who cannot see. Another application of the chip by the company is to enable people who suffer from paralysis to utilize their implants for typing with their minds. The billionaire and co-founder of the company stated that people who have practically no additional interface to the outdoor world would be eligible to use their phones better than anyone with two working hands. Neuralink stands out. Neuralink isn't alone in its quest for creating a brain-computer interface known as PCI or brain-machine interface known as BMI Technologies. Several research papers have been published along with startups using this method. But what segregates Neuralink from most of these undertakings and makes it stand out is its intention of mass production. Musk admits that he knows how hard production is, probably 100 times harder than making a prototype to a safe, secure, reliable device that works efficiently in a broad range of situations, and states the process to be immensely difficult. Still, he envisions the company producing millions of brain chips and is expecting to implant one in himself. What do you think of this new technology? Will it live up to its expected potential? Let us know in the comment section below. That's all for today, but we'll be back with more such videos, so stay tuned. And until then, remember to like, share, and subscribe.